A night with loved ones turned into a deadly tragedy on Oahu's North Shore. First responders say the bodies of two men who went diving were recovered early this morning near a surf break known as Velzy Land near Sunset Beach. Nikki Shenfeld reports. Officials say a group went out diving with friends and family off the North Shore, but two did not return. The wife of one of the victims identified the men as Rupert and Raymond, who also went by June. The two were extremely close and leave behind several young children. According to HFD, the 911 call came in around 3.40 for the missing divers north of Sunset Beach. Fire crews say the two men had been missing for several hours. It's still not clear what time the men originally went out. After arriving, rescuers noticed a station dive light submerged about 150 feet from shore. Fire crews swam out and retrieved one of the men around 4.40 a.m. Air One was then called in to provide aerial support for the second diver. While providing light from above, fire crews used scuba equipment to search underwater. The second man was brought to shore around 6.50 Sunday morning. Both men were pronounced dead at the scene. The only thing I could speculate is they either got separated and got injured separately or one was trying to help the other and in the and then they both got lost. Moreno, who was also an EMT, says spearfishing is a challenging sport to begin with. And when you factor in nighttime, it makes your vision much worse. You lose your peripheral. You don't know ocean from land. You just don't know where you're at. And in the water, you don't know where you're at. Um, so it's, it's dangerous. It was raining on North Shore Saturday night into Sunday morning. A lot of times when it rains and there's wind, it kicks up all the silt from the bottom, so it's dirty. It's not very clear. It's not the best choice to dive at night during that level of drain. I was in Rocky Lawn and poured all night here. It's just so strange that two, it's just, it's so, it's, it's, it's sad. A close friend says the two were experienced divers. According to state data, snorkeling is the leading contributor to death for ocean-related activities in Hawaii. The family has started a GoFundMe for the two widows and their children. You can view that on our website, khon2.com. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Nikki, thank you.